Hello there, muy buenos dias, and welcome to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and Beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived in this town for over two decades now, and I love to share news, information, and interesting items about the town to all you Benny lovers out there. So let's get started. Today's vlog brings you a warning about one very specific crime to be aware of when you are out and about in the resort enjoying your much longed for holidays trouble free. Whilst I always try and shine a very positive light on Benidorm, as in every large city or resort, there is of course a shadier underbelly, with petty crime, drugs and prostitution always lurking nearby. Although many holiday makers never see this side of our beloved town at all, especially if they don't venture into the new town area at night where things can get just that little bit crazier. A mix of the exhilarating feeling of finally getting away into the sunshine, cheap beers and sangria plus free entertainment can certainly quickly go to the head. But please do always be aware of what you are doing, whether you have one beer, one dozen or even none. This latest news update brings you reports from the Spanish national press this week, with many media outlets covering the story as the name Benidorm always grabs the headlines, both here in Spain as well as internationally. With the high summer season now beginning and therefore thousands of visitors descending weekly, the national police have increased their patrols and just a couple of days ago arrested a 49-year-old Spanish woman for stealing a mobile phone worth a thousand euros from an English male tourist. With many police on the streets and in undercover cars and plain clothes here in Benidorm on a daily and nightly basis, local officers were alerted to the nervous appearance of a woman in the early hours of the morning who then tried to get rid of a mobile phone in her hand as they approached her. When questioned about the origin of the phone and then subsequently asked to prove it was her property, the woman was not able to unlock it. And as the wallpaper picture on the screen was of two men's football shirts from an English football team and the phone had been set up in the English language rather than Spanish, the language of the suspect, the police decided to stop her. Whilst checks were being carried out on the side of the road, the mobile phone began to ring and no doubt to the owner's surprise, who was a holidaying British man, the National Spanish Police answered. They soon managed to ascertain that the gentleman in question had been out for the night when a woman, who was possibly accompanied by a man in the background, had approached him, speaking English and had given him a friendly hug as he returned to his hotel. However, as soon as he arrived back to his room, he realised that the phone from his pocket was missing and therefore rung the number from another device, luckily in this instance resulting in the safe return of his expensive mobile phone. This type of robbery is known as urto cariñoso in Spain, roughly translating as affectionate theft. Although it's also often described by the more catchy title of hugger mugger crime and consists of the thief so-called lovingly flattering their victim whilst they hold or hug their body in order to seal phones, cash, high-end watches and jewellery as they do so. Whilst this crime is certainly nothing new, there is a worrying increasing trend in petty theft, not only in Benidorm, but all of Spain's major resorts and cities, as well as globally, due no doubt to the poor financial state of some families due to the effects of Covid and the worldwide rise in the cost of living, along with the low-life opportunists there have always been, of course, who I make absolutely no excuse for. So please make sure that you take extra care when you're out and about in Benidorm, whether sober or drunk, or by night or by day, because sadly there will always be someone on the lookout to take advantage, whether this be from a hugger mugger, the gypsy pea men trying to tempt you in to play their games, or just someone on the lookout for a slightly tipsy tourist walking down a quiet street or alleyway late at night and not paying attention to where they are going or their surroundings. Always just take out what money you may need for the night ahead, never wear your most precious and expensive jewellery or even something very sentimental but not necessarily valuable, always keep your wits about you and if in doubt just get a taxi home. That six or seven euros or so, literally the cost of a spirit and mixer at many downtown bars, could save you a lot of heartache or worse. And whilst there will sadly always still be some people who do fall victim to these incidents, no matter how careful they are, please do remember that Benidorm on the whole is very safe, policed very well, and if you do spend your nights along the strip or in this busy, boozy nightlife area, look after each other and take care on your way home and stop for no one unless you really have to. Thanks so much for listening and I wish you a very happy and safe holiday here in Benidorm next time you come and visit. And do know that these thefts are much less common than you think as long as you are vigilant at all times. 
That's all for now, and I'll catch you next time, maybe on one of my many info-packed street and beachfront walks, or for a review of one of Benidorm's most popular hotels, to show you footage of a new bar or business, or just bringing you some more local info, news and updates. See you again soon here at Benidorm and Beyond, and adios for now. Cheers!